screen and ask the, the question, of course. Um, it's a question that everyone does in the remote meetings. Are you able to see my desktop? Yes. Cool. Amazing. So first of all, let me start to, to thank you, to thank you. Okay, before we start, I would like to thank you the invitation that uh, Jalconek Lisbon made to me. So is, I'm also uh, amused and uh, amazed with uh, with uh, for being here to sharing some some of my experiences. Um, and uh, the topic for today is purpose, the only route to su succeed. Of course, this is a very strong, a very strong statement, but it's something I, I truly believe and based on some experience that I have done and one of them I would like to, to share here with you. Before we move forward, I would like to do a, a disclaimer. Um, folks, this will not be a lecture, okay? And I will not provide any recipe, okay? This is only my experience uh, in a very demanding environment and using a small and small things that help the teams to achieve their goals, okay? Everyone, everyone is comfortable with that? <laughs> Seems okay, great. let's let's go to to this crazy journey. So the agenda that I would like to propose is to have okay, we will start with a social contract, a small icebreaker. I will present myself. I will do a small introduction regarding this topic, the the purpose. Then I will uh, pass you the the ball for you. We will vote like the last American elections, you can pick one of the stories that I would like to share with you. I have here three, so it's up to you to, to pick one. Then on the top of the, this story or this uh, experience, uh, we will do a small exercise. I will tell the story. Then we do again another exercise on top of this story. And then I, I will ask for uh, some feedback from you and then we will close the, the session. Very well. So the social contract, the rules of, of this game for today. Um, once more, this is my experience only. Um, everyone is invited to participate. Okay, feel free to stop me to ask questions. I will invite you to, to be involved also during the exercises. If you don't want to, to do the exercises, the exercises you are you are okay, that there's no problem at all. It is what it is. Um, I will ask you, each one of you to have open-minded and something that is very important. We need to respect time because all of us, we, uh, we have our uh, time and in this evening is our family time, personal time, and we need to respect this, this time frame that we, we define it. And at, at the end of the day, we need to have fun, okay? Everyone is okay with this uh, with this contract. Cool. Okay, let's start the icebreaker. So this icebreaker, I will call it purpose wall. So what I need to 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 uh, what I will invite you to do is you you're going to get in, into a, a tool that we call Miro. And um, in the Miro, I will give you the instructions. Let me stop sharing here the slide deck, escape, show the Miro here. Let me go to here, do a zoom. Now share again. Let me go here to my screen here shared now I, go, I will share with you the link here you can go to the shot please get to in this uh, this url and use this password that i will share with you And now let's let's do the icebreaker. Let me see the people getting. I think I don't get the, the link. Yes, my sure, sure, you are. 
it's true. I was <sighs> chatting with someone privately. <laughs> <laughs> so I think everyone yeah. has now the, the link. Okay, I'm starting to starting to see here people. I will bring everyone to me. And I will explain after everyone being here. I don't know. Only two people. Three. Cool. while the people are getting in, I will explain what we need to do. So here the, the, the goal is to create here a wall with our purpose. Can be your personal purpose or can be the purpose why you are here at this meeting or this session. And how do you do that? You can use here at your left the sticky notes. You can click on that, pick one of, one of the sticky notes, drop inside of this frame and you can write. Or if you want, you can also use emojis. For instance, you can click in, in these three dots, go to icon found, find, found it, finder, and you can write here something. And you can select an icon, you can select an emoji, you can select also if you want any picture. You go here and in the upload, you can go via URL using our device, whatever. Pick your purpose and post here on this wall. Pedro, it's asking me for a password. The password in, is in a Zoom chat, is Agile Connect LX with capital A, C and LX. Okay. I will write again. I didn't know what it was for Agile Connect LX. <laughs> Okay, I, I think some people are not able to join because it sends to a, a login page, which is weird because it's supposed to, to be friendly for the people to join. No login is needed. Okay, I will try to write a hand again here. To, URL. Can you please try again? MJ. And for this exercise, let's set here a five minute frame. Okay, probably, okay, now I'm not able to play a music. I can continue with the playlist. <laughs> okay, good job, thank you. Let me see. No, now this one is an advertise, okay.
That's me. You better watch out. You better it's not okay. cry. It's okay. Thank you. Out. I am telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Make a list. He's checking it twice. He's gonna find out who's a naughty or nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. We continue in the Michael Bublé playlist. Yes, cool. So I don't know if everyone already have written their purpose. We can proceed now. Someone is still writing. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pop. I am telling you why. Because Santa Claus is coming to town. is coming to town. One minute to go. Trouvez tout ce dont vous avez besoin pour des advertisements on YouTube. Okay, in, fr in French, it's weird. Yeah, that's because I'm in Belgium, so. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas, okay. ladies. Merry Wait. Christmas, Mr. Bublé. Are you ready to sing a little jingle bell? Yeah. <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, go away. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride Five in a one-horse Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on okay. Jerome. Okay, thank you, Jerome. So, no great, great things that, great purpose that we have. I think if we were the 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 governance of the world, probably the world will be a little bit better. But I don't know. Anyone that would like to to share um, their purpose or his purpose? I can share mine. Okay, but my purpose is to change the world around me with small things in a small group of people. Uh, that, that is what I, I love to do and I want to do still. Any other, any other person that would like to, to share? Well, I, I put for, I, I, I lost the meaning, uh, I, I, your explanation, but I understood it was the purpose to being here today. I think Maybe. it's to learn collaboratively because we always uh, um, can share and learn what we know, you know, and being present in the community because I think it's communities that drive our motivations. Thank you, Carlos. Yes, the purpose was to the purpose of your life or the purpose of being here. It's the same. Something 
anyone that would like to that would like to to share cool let's move on then so now let's proceed here with the presentation share keynote okay are you able to see cool so yes. let's uh, let me let's uh, only present a little bit about myself i'm using here um let me remove this from my front so before um I, we move to the the real jury so a small presentation by myself using the management 3.0 framework okay this is my personal map okay i'm sharing with you here my values uh, my family, my hobbies, my work and my education. So basically my values are passion, honesty and collaboration. I love discussing uh, philosophical topics uh, with a lot of heat. Um, I, I, I think I am a honest person. I value a lot the, the, the people that are honest and I love collaboration. I love to do a lot, a lot of things uh, with, other, uh, with other people. My family are two amazing kids, one with 12 and the other one with eight, and my amazing wife, Anna. Regarding the hobbies, I have here some, some crazy stuff like uh, sketching. I love to, to do drawings. I love to reproduce the pictures, um, anything. I love also to be involved in the community like this one, the Agile Connect. I was one of the co-founders of it. Uh, I'm very deeply, deeply involved in the liberating structures. Um, I have, I'm also a co-founder of NME, which is a, a modeling um, club. Um, regarding the work, I'm an Agile coach at TalkDesk. I previously, I was an Agile coach at Farfetch and I was a software developer, project manager, a lot of things at Nokia. I was there during nine years. So <laughs> I learned a lot there. Uh, regarding my education, I have um, an engineer, electrical engineering master degree uh, in the Universidad de Transmontes in Alto Dor. I'm mixing here Portuguese with, with English which is an amazing uh, university in the, um, in the north of Portugal. And I have done my all, all of my school at uh, Colegio Internato dos Carvalhos. So basically, this is me. If you have anything, anything that is aligned with me, my values or my uh, hobbies, please feel free to reach me out and we can talk a lot about it. So moving on. Let's start with the basics. What is the purpose? Basically, this I cropped this from a dictionary. I think it was from the, the my laptop. So I will read to you the, the meaning of purpose, the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. The purpose of the meeting is to appoint a trustee. The building is no longer needed for its original purpose. So I will repeat what I love the most, the reason, the reason for which something exists. Uh, I always chase this uh, and invite all the teams that I work with uh, to do the same, to ask questions, to understand, okay, why this is like this? What is the, 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 um, the, the reason of this? Um, and try to figure out and to pursue this kind of reason, the purpose that is behind all of the things. And while I'm, was doing this kind of discovery uh, the, with, uh, with the teams and even, even with my peers, I, I discovered one book, which is this one, Drive. I don't know if any one of you already uh, read the book, but uh, it's very interesting. And one of the things that, um, that keep me the attention of this book is this uh, human intrinsic motivation. This inspired me to start to see to see the things in a different ways. Like, okay, basically the basics of this this uh, human intrinsic motivation are three: the autonomy, the mastery, and the purpose. And basically, I usually do this kind of uh, I will not say framework, but I was use this kind of exercise to explore um, how can I help someone to evolve, to grow. Like, okay, let's work this, these three areas, for, for instance. Even in, 
inside of a team. When I working with a team, I try to explore all of these these three areas. And one of the quotes that I love the most is this one. Um, and I think people get satisfaction from living for a cause that's greater than themselves. They want to leave uh, to to leave an imprint. So um, I also believe the same. Um, each individual searches for some some cause, his cause, and that, that's why we are always um, try to to experience different stuff. Or even when we don't try to experience different stuff, we are always thinking about about those things. Um, and for me, when you have autonomy, when you have mastery, and you when you have a clear purpose, you are able to do the impossible all of the times. You are focused and you can do, you can achieve the greater, the greater of all, of everything. Um, in all the, the companies that I, I have worked with, and in, 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 uh, this one at TalkDesk, um, for them to survive, uh, they started always with a clear purpose, okay? They know what they want to, to achieve. And then the magic happens. They are grow, uh, growing a lot, for instance. Okay, but let's, let's move forward and let's talk about specifically about my experiences. So basically what I have here, I have here three stories to share with you. One is related with um, a specific team goal, okay, the goals of one specific team. The other one is to is related with the, the product vision. And the third one is about the mission of one of team, one, one group of teams. So my challenge now is to stop sharing and invite you to go again to to Miro, let me share again the Miro, and let's pick. Now we go here to our right. I will have here a voting two minutes. I will repeat again. So basically, what we have here are three things. The unicorn that represents the team goals. I will explain how, how we build a gold and how the teams achieve the gold uh, at the end of, of the day. Then the other one, Dragon, is the, regarding the product vision, how a group of teams define the product vision and achieve um, at least the happiness. And the third one is regarding the team's mission. No, which is Panda. I will start here the voting and each one of you that are here in Miro are able to pick one of them. And for picking one of them, you need to select here this uh, icon that represents voting. I will start now the voting. I will increase here the duration for three minutes. I will share again in the Zoom. I will share again in Zoom the URL for Miro and the password to assess Miro if anyone is not able to. So just pick one, go here. Uh, the area that is determined to vote isn't uh, with the three icons, at least when I tried. Okay, probably it was on purpose. Probably I will only select one. I'm kidding. <laughs> Something is wrong then. So let me clean up this and voting now and for all. It takes some time to process. No votes, okay, let's clean up. 
Let's create a new one, create a voting session. Votes per person one, don't know what happened. Okay, here, 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 and then this one, then. This is really cool. I think that's the first time I see this kind of voting. I've session. never seen this either, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay, start now. So, please go ahead. Click on the voting and pick one of the of of the stories that you would like to to explore. Let me remove here the the cursors to not create bias. Can you just put on your screen the three options just for me to confirm? Uh, sorry, let's do. Thanks. I will. I will do this. Okay. Okay. Okay, more or less like this. Thank you for the heads up. Thank you. We still have one minute to vote. Can try to put a little bit of music. Him through the snow. We are dashing in one horse open sleigh. sleigh. All the fields we go. Laughing all the way. Bells and pop till ring. Making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to ride and sing a sewing song tonight. Okay, 30 seconds to go. Okay, see the results. Let me let me see who is the winner. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> we have a tie. Don't worry, let's do another exercise with less time, <laughs> only for these two. Let's clean up this one. A lot of it's... people is not voting voting. Probably they don't want to to so for them is is the same. So let's use now two votes. No, one vote. Okay, between these two. One minute. Start now. Okay. 
Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, let me see the results. See results. Dun, 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 dun. And the winner is, okay, Panda, good. Great, Teams mission, mission, let's stop sharing, go ahead, go again to the, This was really useful to learn a new feature from Miro. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Glad you did the vote. Mm, I'm not seeing here now the camera. I'm not able to see where the Zoom to share. Come on. Share screen. Okay, I need to use here the shortcuts. Okay, sorry for, for that. So we pick here the panda. Let's go for the panda. So how this is gonna work? I will share the context, then we will do a small exercise, then I will tell what happened, share some learnings, and then we do a, a group exercise, okay? So the context, basically the context here is, I have two, three teams, um, for six team members for for each team, and the, the, those three teams they have a lack of uh, motivation and focus. Okay, it's clear. Three teams, six folks for each team, and we have in the, these three teams a lack of motivation and focus. I know that that are small things. There are a lot of things that are missing here, but these are the core things that happened or that was the reasons of the, of the problem that we face on this, um, on this uh, particular context. So let's do a small exercise. I will use here the liberating structure um, exercise. What I would like to ask to you is to find, okay, imagine that you face something like this one uh, three teams, six people for each one of the teams with a lack of focus and lack, lack of motivation. What is the solution that you have in your pocket to solve this issue? So I will ask you for during one minute to think about a solution. Then we will have two minutes to to join to another partner and discuss the, discuss and get a common solution. And then four minutes to to get group of um, of four people to discuss this dissolution between yourselves and then at the all everyone will will, will share uh, the outcome of each one of the groups okay it's clear for everyone what we were going to do yes i think so okay i will repeat again three teams six members per team lack of focus and lack of motivation so what are you going to do if you face this kind of uh, challenge? What is your solution for it? Let me stop sharing. Oops. Okay, stop sharing. Let's go again to Miro. Okay, and now we need to follow this arrow. So let me, okay, so what we ha you have here. So you have here green boxes with post-its or sticky notes and a blue note. Please, each one of you pick one of these green boxes, fill your name in the, the blue sticker and you can use the yellow ones to write something about your solution for this problem, okay? So we will have one minute for this exercise. Okay, I think you need to, to resize the, the sticker. Sorry, I can, can help you. I can help you. Can you repeat okay. the last part you said about okay. these things? 
Okay, basically about the the post-its. Okay, the post-its. You 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 pick one of these uh, green box. Then in the blue one, you write your name. The yellow ones are for you to write some ideas about the solution that you think that you have to solve this kind of problem. Okay, anyone needs more time? Okay, let me first see here how many rooms that I need, headroom, headroom, recreate. Okay, how many are we? Okay, let me create here the rooms. Six, recreate. So now what will happen is, let me open here again. So what we will have here is now, we will have group of two, we will have two minutes and this group of two will discuss the, um, the solutions, okay, that you found. So the, the exercise is the same. The, this group of two will pick one of these boxes. You can copy paste your blue sticker with your name and drag it or paste it into the top of the, the, this box. And you can discuss, you have two minutes to find a common solution or you can have two solutions. <clears throat> okay, dokie. So let's start. Let's open the rooms. Okay, I don't know if you are aware of how can you go move to the room. You will have a button in your Zoom where you are able to join room. Pedro, so, can you please ex can you please explain a little bit the the bottom uh, board? Again. Okay, this Sorry. board basically now you will get in, into one of the Zoom rooms with a partner and you and your partner will pick one of these green boxes. For instance, imagine this one. You can copy paste your blue sticker like this one. Imagine this, this is yours. Copy, you can have here. And use that for the discussion, okay. Yes, and there you start the discussion, you can use this area to, to find a, a common solution. Okay, thank you. Okay, the, the rooms are open. You just need to get into each one of the rooms. You will have, if you are not able to find in the, in the bar, in the Zoom bar you have there, uh, I think joined breakout room or you have a, a place where you see breakout rooms and you go you go on the top of, uh, okay, I don't know. 50 people are still here. We still have six persons here. You probably people don't want to to participate, no worries. Let me fix here. At two minutes.
Neither can you see if there's someone alone in a room because I was alone in my room. Okay. Okay, I will try, we'll move you to the room one or if you want, are you able to see room one? No, just room five. Okay, I just move you to room yeah. one. Okay. Okay, are you there? I'm fly. Yep. Yes. Okay, now what I what we're gonna do? We will we will have four minutes, and now I will join these these pairs um, between each other. I will create group of fours to to discuss the outcomes of each one of these small groups. Okay, so let's move around. Okay, move to. Two, move to two, move to two, move to two, move to three, move to three. One, two, three. Okay. So we will we will have more than four people. Okay, let me so open all, all rooms. You can now join. And now you can use, ah, I forgot to say, you can use this last um, uh, frame to, <laughs> to do the things. I will join each one of the rooms to explain a little bit. So for the people that are here, you can use this four frame to, to discuss in this uh, the outcome of each one of the groups.
Cool, cool. So I know that seems a little bit confusing, this moving to one room, breakout room, moving to another breakout room, moving to Miro, moving to the keynote. I know that is a little bit confusing. I hope that the people are understanding the exercise by itself. So are we all here? Let me see. Yes, it seems so. So wants to to share the the, um, the outcome of uh, of the discussion we have two groups anyone that would like to to share please <laughs> let's start guys um joao well, not sure if you want to yeah. the screen no please. no you can you can speak <laughs> okay so um we were discussing first the, the first approach in pairs and then with the with two more um mm -hmm. and yeah perfect so ours is that one the one up a little bit up that's one that's the one. second that's yeah one. exactly that one uh so uh what we thought was uh given we have three teams here and we are saying that all of them are demotivated um probably it's not a, a thing of one or two people it's really a, a, an upper management problem because we are not able to motivate um, three teams, which is quite a lot of people. Uh, we started by uh, defining immediately what the reason was, but then we took like a step back and decided to understand what's really the reason behind it. So that's our bullet, um, bullet number two, which we ask questions, do like a survey to the team, understand what's the reason behind this motivation. Uh, do not assume that we already know what's the, what's the reason behind it. Uh, and our bullet number three um, would be with the data that we collected uh, on, on this survey, on this, with these questions, um, try to uh, apply a solution, which would be if the product is, how are they fitting into the area or the tribe? Maybe it's about around the product vision um, maybe we should split this into three main areas of context to give a little bit uh, more of why am I here, what's my role, um, how am I impacting the, the area, how am I contributing, uh, and with this create a, a mission according to the specific context where they are included. Mm -hmm. Cool. If the rest of the group wants to add something else. <laughs> no, it was perfect. Yeah, it's great. Cool. Yes, of course, uh, you have a lot of, uh, you have a, a lack of information here to, to move forward, but this was the, the spicy of the, of the exercise itself. Um, probably next time I need to provide even more context. So regarding the other team, who would like to, to share the outcome? Carlos? I can say uh, we were wondering what, why they were together in the first place. So we needed to understand that, what the team came together to do, discuss the North Star as the input, uh, so that we could build a purpose together and also discuss blockers uh, that may be happening during the teamwork. No, and also the, uh, sharing with them the product vision, because if they understand the product vision, maybe they could guide themselves better as well. Uh, and I also, uh, we also discussed a, a very short bit about team building, because maybe it's uh, a lack of uh, trust between team members. So uh, that's why the mixing of the many groups to determine those points of purpose and blockers so they can feel safe to not be judged by their peers that work closely with them. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if anyone wants to compliment, I think that was the overall discussion. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cool. Both of, uh, of the outcomes are amazing and are valid and are very good indeed. Um, any question for each one of the groups that anyone would like to, to ask? I think there, there was a lot of 
I don't know, just confusion in the, the Miro board and such. But but as I look at these now, I think <clears throat> yeah. I think one one thing that comes to mind is that sometimes when there's a lack of focus and motivation, they sort of forgot who the customer was. And so if you could actually bring a human into the group that mm -hmm. was a key user or someone to kind of stir back up that passion around the product, why is this helpful to me and where are we headed? And that may or may not be the, the primary um, business owner if they're the person who created the vision or the user or a representative of the user, but how do you create that human passion back to why are we building this thing? What's it good mm -hmm. for? Yeah, good point. Sometimes we have a lack of humanity in the things that we do. So we think that it, this is only software and we forgot, completely forgot that at the end of the day, there will be a person that will use this, this or this software, this product itself. Cool, now let me share with you what I have done. So moving again to... Okay. Are you able to see the presentation? Not yet. No. No. Okay. Let's try again. And now, are you able to see my desktop? We only see a black screen that says you started sharing your screen. Yeah, exactly. It was the same thing that we, it happened in the beginning, Pedro, when <laughs> you were testing this okay. before the session. Let me try again. Oops. Something's confusing here. Okay. Hmm. Something's happened here with my Zoom. I'm not able to, to pick up the Zoom. Oh, come on. We let me see. Okay. Let's see again. Are we, are you able to see? Yeah. No, <sighs> <laughs> okay. And now yeah. you are still able to see. Okay. Let me see here now. Okay. Are you able to see the presentation? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Sorry for that. Uh so um what happened? Uh, basically, we uh, decided to introduce something in the teams, which was, okay, guys, let's d define here our mission, because they already knew what were what was the, 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 the product area. They knew the vision itself, but at the end of the day, they felt a little bit lost inside of the, the vision of the of the product itself. So basically, we created an, an exercise to define the mission. So, and uh, the, um, the things that we have done here was basically to, to try, one of the goals was to involve everyone in, the, in this process. So 
basically we have done a, a kickoff session and we we start by ask each one of the team members to write two truths and one wish about the product itself okay that they were uh, working on so basically the here.com was to create here the group reality for the people to understand okay what is your thought what is your vision about what we are doing so um, to create this common understanding between all of them then we have i have here one of the pictures with the, all the the people there doing the exercise then what we uh, what we have done was to create here four areas okay one quadrant with four areas and for each one of the the the, area, the areas we have one question which was okay one of them was what we do as a group the other one was how we do it the other one was whom do we do it for and the other the last one was what value are we bringing so we create these four areas and then what we have done was to pick these truths and these wishes and drop and try to identify in which one of the areas this fits and what is amazing is as you can see here usually what the people found or basically the, the wishes and the, the views that the people had from the product is was always about how the product um how we are or how or probably what we do and most of the teams barely understand understood or share something about for instance the value which was interesting is as Thin was saying most at the end of the day they forgot for whom they are delivering the stuff and building the stuff so afterwards okay we found this pattern that probably because the post-its were, were, were limited and probably we only fill one of the area we try to uh, we uh, we try to fill the other the quadrant with the, what was missing in this case it was the value area the value part okay guys let's now focus on these areas that we don't have any anything let's try to figure out what we do or in this case what are what are the value that we are bringing at the end of the day so and the people try to fill out the the um, this board this quadrant with the with information afterwards what we have done was okay so now we understand more or less a lot of stuff what we have um let's try to for each one of these quadrants let's create here a sentence let's mix merge some of them try to figure out if some of them make sense or not if some if some of the posts it's probably it was interesting but does the impact or does meaning a lot of for us so basically we, we refine each one of these areas and then we create a statement for each one of the areas for just to resume just to summarize the the thing and then what happened was okay now that we have here four sentences let's create something let's create here the statement and um, we iterate a lot of time on top of it and we found and we got this that we have here this was one of the teams that were that was working for a payment for the uh, e-commerce uh, website for the it was a, the payment team and basically their mission the, the name of the team was warp team and the mission that they 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 wrote that figure out together was this one the warp team provides a world-class payments and fraud system to luxury markets customers brands and boutiques this was the the um, the target Todo juntos, which was at the time one of the values of the company altogether with a, a disruptive attitude we ensure the best experience convenience and security never settle so this was the mission that they found they sign here i print this out they sign they they put on the wall and they start to sometimes take take the decisions on top of this kind of uh of statement like okay 
imagine that they were start to talking about something that is not nothing that has nothing to do with payments or fraud. Probably they ignore or they provide less priority to that uh, than the, the the attitude that they they face the the, the challenges was in a, in a different way. Like they try to figure out the things out of the box. For instance, they ensure that the experience was always the best for the the customer. It was amazing. So some learnings that that, that um, I took from uh, from the exercise was first listen to people try to understand every involve everyone try to understand what what are the the, the pain points that they have um, try to push for a common understanding try to to invite the people to share the vision or the 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 side of the of the of the things that they are seeing try to to bring to to the same place this kind of conversations um, we need also to push for the management team to support this kind of activities. They support it. They understood the value, and at the end, they they prize the, the this kind of initiatives. Um, something that I use and I love a lot is visualization. So you saw that okay, we use post-its, we use a, a, a quadrant, we we wrote the white, we use the whiteboard. We at the end we have a statement. Uh, with which was signed for, by everyone. Everyone was able to see the statement every day that when they arrived to the office. If they were at, uh, out of the office at, at the, their place, they can read that on the, the wiki of the, of the team. It, it was always visible. And at the end of the day, all together, we need to be all together in this kind of activities for um, create here a common bond and um, and something amazing. So, these were the folks that were involved on in the in the exercise. Um, uh, the cluster we call checkout. They were responsible for the checkout area for, in this case, for Farfetch. And um, each one of this team basically crea have, have created a, um, an amazing mission. They followed the mission. They loved the, the, the mission and they, they, they felt a lot of value doing this kind of stuff. And they were open to do it. So this was my experience. I don't know if any of you have any questions about the, this kind of, this particular experience. Pedro, I'm curious, did you, um, during the quadrant work, <clears throat> did you cross or blend the three teams? No, we did not. At yet, uh, but let's, uh, we did not blend the teams. We did not move mm -hmm. the people around. What we have done <coughs> was at the end, we share, everyone shared the, the outcome of each one of the teams. But probably, if I looking back or to to this uh, look back to, to to this kind of exercise, probably what I I could promote was somehow okay. We have the mission for each one of the teams, but at the end of the day, we could have the mission from this cluster, this group of the teams, because probably can be different. Okay, the outcome needs to be aligned, or in the other way around, we should start with with a mission for the, in this case, checkout cluster. And then, okay, let's go uh, to each one of the teams to create the, our mission because it's like the North Star, okay? It's top, it's not top down, but okay, we understand what is the, the, the frame of the of the, our product, the target of our customers. And then each one of these teams are uh, focused on uh, different areas. So then probably it will be a slice of this piece of uh, product that, uh, that matters to, to the team always having these two 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 uh, two things in the balance okay the cluster the cluster mission or the customer the custom uh, the check the cluster uh, goals and the team goals and team mission they should be somehow linked pedro uh could you give examples of the part of two troops and one wish because mm -hmm. i couldn't picture it Okay, so for instance, for payments, imagine that um, you don't have, you missed there uh, a new payment method. Uh, you can 
imagine that we only use PayPal and credit card. Now I think, okay, let's use a different uh, boleto. I know, for instance, but in, in, in Brazil, we have boleto, right? It's a, a payment method. So imagine, okay, I, I wish that we can, could have boleto to, to reach out also this kind of customers. This can be one, one example. Another example can be, for instance, let me see regarding who we are. Um, pro we should, Imagine that the people, the, the, the team have uh, had a lot of courage, for instance. Uh, that can be a wish. I wish I could be more, have more courage to face this kind of challenges. Or I wish I could uh, do something different. Since things like that. I don't know if it was clear, if I was able to answer to your question, Carlos. I understood both examples as wishes. I didn't understand the the true fact. Of uh, the true fa fact about the team or the truths about something. Okay, for instance, two truths. Um, in this case, um, basically, uh, we are dealing with payments and with frauds, with fraud, for instance, and to in this kind of payments. It, like I, I told you regarding the payments methods, we can say oh, one of the truths is we use PayPal as a, our major payment method, for instance. This one is one of the truths. The other truth can be, uh, for instance, um, we never settle. We are always eager to do better, to do more can be one truth because you see that the team is behaving that way. Uh, and the, the other way is like, we care about the single details of the application or not, or the, the, the user experience can be one of the truths because they, they usually are always try to get feedback from the customers or not. Or probably they, one of the truths can be, we continually, continuously get feedback from our customers or we always work in pairs uh, towards uh, one specific goal, or every time that some some information arises, we share with everyone. So this kind of behaviors of the team that usually they do, they wrote on the the post-it, they share, and then they arrive to this kind of sentence. For instance, this kind of todos juntos can can be a lot of things. I see. Thanks. Yeah, I had a question. Uh, first off, great dynamic, Pedro. Um, and you said that you guys even um, posted this on the wall when mm -hmm. you were in the office, and that helps you because it it you even even if you want or if you don't want, you happen to look at it, so yep. it keeps it, it keeps that message in in the back of your mind. Yeah. So so my question would be. Uh, we are you haven't been to the office in about nine months i suppose yeah. uh, so i was wondering if, if you find uh it, if, if you find it more difficult now to keep this focus on on the purpose mm -hmm. can be yes so it's, it's more challenging because most of the people are not are, were not used to work remote but even if you are uh, working um, remotely, you, you can use a different kind of exercises to, to do the same, uh, to, to have the same impact. For instance, you saw that we used Miro to do some exercises. You can create a Miro, which can be the space of the team to talk about, uh, okay, a lot of team dynamics during the day. Or imagine that, uh, you, and you can, Pick this picture, have there, and every time the, the, the team goes there, they gonna look to it. Another kind of exercise is like imagine that you are doing a, 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 the daily a stand up, you can share the two things the board and the mission. <laughs> it's always there, visible. It's an example. Another example is like when you do um, uh, sync meetings with everyone. You at the beginning, you you show the mission, you present the mission, then you move to the to the topic that you want to discuss. Um, every time that, for instance, um, 
you you send an email, you can use this statement or use parts of the statement like like in this case never settle. This is a, a core, a strong, a strong sentence that they love to use all of the times. And you can you can use hashtag never settle, for instance. So you try to be provocative and to use this kind of information to to um, to in the in the communication. Which is different. It's not more. It's less visual for sure, but it's more written. And you, you need to take this kind of opportunities to write, 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 share, 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 share all of the time. But that that is my my advice. <laughs> but uh, it's hard when when you don't have uh, this kind of experience working remotely. Don't you feel that, uh, for example, when you have something always in the same place with always the same information could become a little bit like invisible over the time? So, for example, if you have the exact same board every day in the same place, probably people will get used to it. And after a few time, just mm -hmm. completely forgot about what is there because it's always the same. So you do some kind of like... Uh, update regarding this because for example i have some it dashboard updates, uh, myself and if i have the exact same task in the dashboard for example in the beginning mm -hmm. i i you stop I looking to it yeah i stop looking to it and go through the, the new stuff and probably that ta like task or something that is mm -hmm. there for a while is there for a purpose but uh, i feel that when i have something uh, always in the same place mm -hmm. always with the same information uh, it it start it comes to to be more important. You start to you start to then, yeah. You start to ignore. Okay, I'm not understanding if you are talking in, when you are remote or if you are in the both both. Okay. For example, if so, you have like in a meeting always the same thing being presented, probably start to to focus on different things and just completely forgot. And, I understand your point. Uh, what I'm trying to use here is 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 a marketing technique that sometimes. You you know that something is there. You look to that, but in in the, um, your um, I don't know in the term in English subconscious conscious consciousness in your conscious consciousness you will you you will you will see that you will understand what that is. It's like imagine that you gonna you go driving your car and in the bus stop you have there a, a, a um, uh, an ad about one new, uh, a new series from uh, Netflix or whatever. Probably you never look to the details of the, the the information that is there, but you know that something is there. And, and when you go to the Netflix, probably you will pick up that information because you have there an image that is that looks like or that, that is similar to that. So the visualization has this power. Sometimes you have something in front of you that you probably never look to the details, but you know what is there. Um, I know that these are that okay. this somehow is words. That's why we need to write, write that, that those words, and imagine that this is in a in a physical space. Usually, this is near the the board when you, where you have, when where we have the Kanban board with all the, the work, and probably we are discussing in the daily, for instance, or, or we are discussing some issue, and uh, if something um, is if someone is looking or is doing some observation. In, in, kind, in this kind of discussion that goes against our mission, probably he sees that the mission is there, he's gonna look to that and it will ask something about, but guys, probably this doesn't make sense. Look, or the people are stuck. Probably guys, remember we wrote this, this is who we are. Uh, the people do, do this kind of, uh, of stuff. And if you don't have the things there, I don't think I have sure. I'm sure that no one will remember it. But repeating for me is the repeating, the repetition. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It's like uh, like if we move to from a mission to a vision or or the purpose of a company, you need to repeat all of the time. Repeat, repeat, repeat the, the behaviors, repeat the words, and the things will start to get into to your head, to your consciousness. 
and but, now you can use it as a, a background in your desktop. <laughs> it may work. You can use it <laughs> for instance. <laughs> or, or even in, in your background images in Zoom or in Teams or whatever. Uh, Pedro, I have a question also. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Um, I'm not quite sure that I understood how did you define the, the, the mission? So uh, did you uh, perform some exercise? It, it was that uh, to, 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 uh, that exercise with the trust and the, and the facts or, or mm -hmm. there is something else? This was an exercise that was defined at the beginning. Okay, I, I told to the to the team, okay, folks, uh, we're going to do this. We're going to define a, a mission for us. And I explained the, the, the purpose of it. Okay, the purpose of having the mission is for us to, to, to have the alignment, to understand who we are and what we are doing here. Um, and then we, we scheduled several sessions to do this kind of, uh, of things like, okay, one session to understand what the truths and, um, and uh, the, um, the, the, wish, the, wish, the, wish, right? the wish, the wish. truths and the wish, for instance. And then after a while, we defined the quadrant with all the areas. And then, of course, to figure out the sentence, this took a lot of time, basically, and we we have done that exercise one day and then in the next week, the people thought a little bit during the, the week and during the weekend about the, some sentences. They arrived there, they wrote the sentences, then they, they mature the, all of the information and afterwards they do the, this merging and the creation of the final mission statement. So at the end, you got just one sentence that mm -hmm. uh, uh, somehow have all that it needs to to the team to see then so it defined the, the mission in one mm -hmm. statement is that yes basically the the purpose is to have a mission that answers to four questions what the team is doing uh, how they do they are doing it to whom and the value that they are bringing okay okay and it was hard to come yes. to just one statement because i, I can imagine like yes it's people. hard inside each team so it's a lot of people and uh, yeah, I, I know that you are you not able to, to merge just yes. one sentence and, and did you get consensus or did people disagree or yes uh, i disagree they discuss a lot they wrote probably 10 20 times different sentences but at the end they arrived to a they self-organize themselves and they arrive to a conclusion. So uh, I, I know that you are driving and you are not able to see what I'm sharing, but this this was, and look, different places that where the team uh, tried to, to do the exercise. So this took a lot of time and the people were very engaged. And this is this was the first one. And this team was, um, the involvement, you need to be there to, to see the guys, uh, to, to be involved between themselves, to, to try to, to achieve to, to, um, to, uh, to the same place, to, to, to uh, an outcome. Okay. It was hard, yes, it was. <laughs> but everything is hard in life, so. Yeah, too, okay, okay, <laughs> thank you. Not everything, but it was amazing. The people loved it. Great, great, thank you, thank you. I don't know, I'm not able to see here the, the shot because I can need to exit. Okay, let me see if I have any questions. Okay. Okay, it's eight, five past eight. I don't know how much time do we have, Joel? Sorry? 10 How minutes, much? I would say, Pedro, 10 minutes to end. It's 10 minutes yeah. to end. So I will drop the exercise. Basically, what I I had here was do an exercise regarding isn't that, that fr not framework, but that exercise that I've done with the teams like to, okay, imagine that we have a product. Let's find here, define here two truths, one wish, and then create here a, quad a quadrant to 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 answer to this uh, to this to this product that we imaginary product that we want to build 
but if you want you can try this with uh, any other any of your teams so think, now go hey, Pe pedro i think it's a really good um exercise to do just for your personal self right what do you yes. do <laughs> why do you do it what value are you bringing to the world it's it's a really good uh just sort of a coaching self-coaching exercise yeah it, it's and it's you know you think sometimes you think that the words are just you're just wordsmithing the sentences and but it's the process that you have to think through all of that to really make it valuable to yourself yes the process is uh, forcing you to think about the things and to to write the to write them and to think about them yes it's like the 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 book that i show at the beginning those three areas the the purpose the mastery and autonomy you can use that personally and you also can do in groups if your group is not doesn't have the autonomy to move forward it's hard to 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 achieve to something for instance and they they need to master the things they are doing if they are building a product they need to understand what they are doing or sometimes not sometimes they if they don't know they need to to foster they need to challenge each other to to understand mm, i don't know okay so now that we are closing um i was trying to collect some feedback about about all of this experience um and please go to the mirror and uh, there you have the, a place where you see the, um, the feedback. Let me share with you. We also have our feedback form. I already shared the link with you in the, in the message, in the comments. So you can also fill our feedback there and uh, we'll be sharing it with Pedro as well. So please don't forget to, to give feedback in two places in Pedro Miro board and in our form, please. It really helps us to, to improve and to, to bring you better meetups next time, so. I can share it with, with you, John, also afterwards, if you want okay, to avoid thanks. our customers to repeat themselves. So I will copy paste to you. Cool. So I hope you enjoy some issues here with the with the technology. Do you want some Michael Bublé while you are pre doing the feedback? No one answered to you as well. Yes, I think so. Well. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Can call a consent. Yeah, exactly. I think with the next one. Now we have some music. I'm dreaming. Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And the children listen Out to hear Slave elves in the snow The snow Said I'm dreaming Of a life Christmas, with every Christmas card I write, and may your days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright, and may all your Christmases be white. Just 
Not sure if you want to to close the session, Pedro, or if you have anything else to to add. If the people would like to do some questions, I'm always open to to have a good discussion about this topic for another or a, a different one. Regarding the other cases. Did you use similar dynamics or were no. There... no, it was completely different uh, dynamics that I have used. Now we need two more meetups. <laughs> this is my third one. Uh, the, my third to talk about this. And I, I was hoping that we picked the first one, but we didn't. So it is what it is when the people has the, have the power to choose. So... I was uh, at the beginning. I was thinking also to if um, if um, I could ask to you. Okay, do you prefer to do exercises and go and pick one of the examples, or do you do you prefer to go through all of the examples and at the end we do a Q and I was thinking about it, but. For the next time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the examples would be cool. <laughs> yes. It, it they are completely different from between the each other. But once more, small uh, I basically I have used small things like I pick one I exercise. The, the core the core things that I have used here was visualization have every, everyone in the same place try to to interact between them um, do different interactions try to have some meaningful to the end to 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 each one of them to have at the end of the day something that was powerful for them to use to this for the discussions and to take decisions Cool. Thank you very much uh, for this moment, for your questions. Um, I wish you uh, a Merry Christmas for all of you, and a, you let's too. let's wish that to 2021 uh, to be a better year than this one, <laughs> because although we need that to have a different year to 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 have interaction with people. I miss exactly. that a lot. <laughs> Drink some beers outside. Yeah. Enjoy the sun. Thank yes. you, Pedro. It was Thank really you. cool. Really glad that you you present your experience with with us today. And thank, thank you, you, everyone, for being here. Okay, Joel. I will uh, Joel and Edilson. I will share with you the the dot com of feedback right okay okay okay, okay. so so let's stop recording yeah.